In this video, we are going to install new Laravel project and configure database setting as well. Okay, without further ado, let's jump to our terminal or common windows if you are using windows. Here, let's create new Laravel project and give it name blog for example. Wait for a while. If you see here, I'm loading the dependencies from cache. This is because I'm running a lot of our new command before. So when I run it again, all dependencies is loaded from cache and the process is much faster. Once the download finished, let's go to our new Laravel project and run PSP billing server by typing PSP or sun serve. If you want to change the host name, just specify the host name in host option. For example, blog.app. You can specify the port number with number you want. Let's say 1 through 3, 4. I'm preferred using default host and port number. So here I just type PSP artisan serve. Okay, let's go to our browser and type localhost colon 8000. And there we go, Laravel default page is show up. The next thing we have to do is create new database for our new project. Here, I open other terminal to create new database. Of course, you can use MySQL client tool, such as phpMyAdmin, MySQL Workbench, or other tools. Here, I'm going to create new database called Laravel5 underscore blog, and you can name whatever you prefer. I copy the database name, open the Atom editor. Let's open the .env file and change the db name with name of the database we just created. Change the db username with name of user database. Here I'm using the default username, root, with empty password. Now, I'll close all terminal because I have installed Terminal Plus plugin in my Atom editor. I can open it by clicking this button. Here the terminal show up. And the current prompt is in our current project. If you're using Atom editor like me, you can install the plugin by clicking Edit menu in Linux or File menu in Windows. Then click Preferences. After that, you can choose the Packages option on the left and search the plugin by typing Terminal Plus in the text box. Once it's found, just click the Install button and wait until the installation finished and restart the editor. Here, I'll run the PSP Building Server and I'll open new tab by clicking the plus button here. And I'm going to use this terminal to execute command line. Okay, that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll set up our Laravel application layout from the template. And if you have installed Git in your machine, you can follow the additional steps in every end of each discussion. But these steps is just optional. So here, I'll initialize the Git repository. After that, I'm adding all file changes to the staging area. Last, I'll commit all changes to Git repository.